thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. Now, before we get started, I have a surprise for you. A surprise that some of you may not care about and say, where is my reactions, anime man? Hold up. If you don't care about this sponsored bit, but you'd like to support me, try to pursue this YouTube thing full time, check out the comments. The pinned comment will say discount code KAKA. $5 off for your first purchase from Tokyo Treat and Sakura. Okay, that's right. We have a milestone in our channel. Our first sponsorship on YouTube. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us free packages for us to check out. For those of you that don't know what they are about, they basically want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of their own home through the snack box. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You'll get up to 20 of exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavor Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Sakuraku, on the other hand, is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. These gift boxes all have a monthly theme that rotates. For example, the Tokyo Treat theme of this month, the Sakura Snacktastic, while the Sakura Co. is the beauty of Sakura. All right, let's check out the March theme of Sakura Snacktastic for Tokyo Treat. And even if I hate all anime characters named Sakura, primarily from Naruto and Classroom of the Elite, the snacks here are really good. Some of the snack highlights are going to be the Spring Cracker, the Sakura Castella Cake, the Sakura Shortbread Cookie, Sakura Leaf Cracker, Sakura Mini Cookies, and many more. Sakura this, Sakura that. Listen, my favorite one of them all is probably going to be the Sakura Castella Cake. Mm. The fluffiness, the texture, the flavor, it is a treat. And for the Sakura Co side, the theme of March, the beauty of Sakura. Beautiful pink packaging. Look at this box. Let's enjoy the traditional flavors of Japan together. Immediately, you're given pamphlets and infographics on what these snacks are going to be. Some of the snack highlights from this box is going to be the Sakura Mochi, the Sakura Biscuits, the Sakura Dorayaki, the Sakura Donut, the Sakura Candy, and many more. I think my favorite is definitely the Mochi and the Donut. They're so sweet. They're so nice. If you're a fan of Mochi or Donuts, I guarantee you'll enjoy it. And this month's tableware item is the Neko Sakura dish. Look how cute it is. Look at it. Could probably put i don't know some tea on it and finally let's enjoy the traditional flavors of japan together beautiful box now ladies and gentlemen if you're still here i applaud you with everything i got because let's get serious who gives a you know about sponsor segment if i click on a youtube video and i see a sponsor that i skip i ain't nobody got time for your raid shadow legends code however if you're still here and if you'd like to support this small channel, we've recently been growing at a pretty decent rate. I was even able to hire an editor thanks to all the growth and the support that you guys have given me. And this goal of pursuing content creation full time feels a little bit more realistic. And sponsorships like this, the fact that I'm able, able to secure them despite being a man child just watching anime in my empty apartment just yelling at a mic. This is a huge milestone for me. And if you guys actually would like to get a gift for your loved ones, February's coming up, Valentine's coming, you know what that means? My Giga Chat community members surely has a bunch of girlfriends and boyfriends that would appreciate a gift. So even if this doesn't interest you personally, I think they make for great gifts. Now, use the discount code KAKA for $5 off of your first purchase. And now let's get back to our regular scheduled content. Besides Chahein's Giat gracing us last episode, Kind of a setup, kind of a lot more exposition, not as hype, but it's necessary in order to build up the suspense. Now, what are we doing? We're going back in a dungeon with the people that quote unquote betrayed us. Mr. Song's cool, Juhi, power crap, but she's cool. Everyone else can't even make a fucking eye contact. And there's three com criminal convicts along with the Hunters Association, the spiky purple hair guy. Now the game should be stay under the radar don't get the sus meter too high because if Sung Jin Moo just saves everybody, then the Hunters Association guy is going to be like, hmm, you want to try our new device again, right? It's going to be something like that. I hope today's episode is going to be sick. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, more goblins. Wait. The nut chuck from the criminal guy was kind of cool. Oh, you got Bruce Lee, all right. Got a staff user here. Okay, okay. And Sung Jin Moo just kinda laying low, right? 
Is bro like smurfing and trying to act like like he can't pop off, right? So is he intentionally trying to make the goblins fight like look hard for him, right? Because if he just instantly kill them all, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? Uh, we have a trust fund friend. Yeah, kind of suspicious, huh? Oh, we should take some injuries then. Hmm. Mr. Song realizes, of course. The aura. What the fuck is aura? I understand what aura is, right? It's like your energy level. It's like your power. It's like your perception of how strong someone is. But in the context of solo leveling, what the fuck does aura really mean, right? Like, like, is there a specific stat that attributes to aura? Is it just the higher level, the stronger you're, the stronger your aura is? What, what does that really mean, huh? Aura is just Riz? Maybe. This guy, maybe he's onto us too. Opening. Split? Are you sure you want to split? Uh-oh. I don't know if you want to split. Perception again. Which path is the best? The smoky one is the boss one. Okay. Mr. Song, Juhi, and Song Jung Woo? Oh, what is that? Oh, uh, 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 uh. I think he's on to us. The side eye. Ooh, he's gonna make us take the fucking machine test again, Ashes, isn't he? What was that? Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you, Mr. Kim. You're still banking on that. Huh? You're the fucking weakest hunter here. You lied to your fucking daughter. Oh, Papa, are you strong? Yeah, I'm strong. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah, that's right. Double dungeon happened. <laughs> Really? I hope that guilt is just killing you, eating you up inside. Sungji Moo had families too, you know? This is kind of a death flag though, yeah. Well, I mean, last episode too, with the whole daughter scene, like, in the, in the wife, like, this is a lot of death flags for Mr. Kim. Like, if you wanted to just apologize, you should have already done it. Maybe, like, where are we gonna go with this? So maybe this is all set up. He's gonna die, but before he dies, he's able to apologize just in time for Sung Jin Woo. Or maybe Sung Jin Woo just saves him right before he dies. I don't know. But what does he die from? The convict? The dungeon monsters? Purple hair guy just... His look is... kind of sus. Oh? Wait, 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 what do, you, what do you mean? The convicts? I'm gonna assume? So this... Oh, we... Did, whoa, 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 this guy did show up last episode, right? And I was like, this is random as fuck. So the convicts ruined his life, just fucked his life up. He has money in the duffel bag. So... He's hiring the Hunter Association to take the convict into the dungeon? Or is he hiring him to take them out in the dungeon? Oh, okay. Oh, they were already hunters. I thought like the whole system was, we'll just send them random prisoners in because they're like, like criminal scum. So it's like easy, but they were already hunters. Got it. Oh, wait, wait, a hunter association guy's gonna kill him? Oh, wait, this could be fun. Yes. And that's why he led them here, this specific path where no one else sees. Oh, this guy is fucking cold, dude. Totally, they deserve this shit. They deserve this shit, right? We already thought of the fucking narrative, the script we're gonna tell, okay? They just got beat by a hundred goblins, so purple hair guy's gonna kill him? Oh, they got off screen. Oh, Mr. Kim, you should not have seen this. Because if you see this, I don't think you're getting out either. And then what? Wait. And then just before Mr. Kim dies, Sung Jim who shows up, and then we fight the association guy. No. What? Yeah, he hasn't realized Mr. Kim has seen it yet. He hasn't seen it yet. You're so dumb. Oh, you're so dumb. They didn't even, he didn't even recognize. You could have fucking backed off. Mr. Kim, you deserve this shit. Oh my God, you're so stupid. 
Oh, this guy's cold. Oh, this guy's cold. Sangji Mu. Nah, he totally remembers you. He totally does. The main antagonist in this episode is the Hunters Association guy? But like, I don't even blame him because he was still carried out hit for the convicts. But if he's going to take out Mr. Kim, oh shit. Like, they deserve to die. Fuck them, but like... Oh, Jung Ho dead. Kim? What about Kim? Oh, he's gonna die too. He's gonna die too. But maybe he'll apologize just in time, huh? Motherfucker, at least apologize before you die. Juhi, stop being useless. Come on. Juhi, go. Yeah, he got sliced though. Peshik was using um daggers too, huh? Similar weapon to Sung Jin Oh, he's actually gonna die then. Bro, your daughter. Damn. He really held out in, huh? Bro is upset that if you just go out like this, how the fuck am I gonna get mad at you? That's how I'm feeling. You can't die now. Are you really? Now we're getting a half-assed apology. Fuck you, Mr. Kim. I'm not giving you a fucking salute, you piece of shit. I hope your daughter fucking grows up without a dad. That's on you. No. Fucking betrayed us. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait. Did you just speak English? Wow. Yeah. Hi, hi. <laughs> it's gonna be a knife on knife duel! Bro was trying to kill out Juhi, dude! Honestly, he doesn't need to touch Juhi. Juhi is already useless, dude. Like, name a moment where Juhi. Juhi! I su okay, someone do the fucking map. I guarantee you, if someone does the fucking map and counts for every frame Juhi has existed in the anime, I bet this bitch is on her knees more than she's standing. Her bed scenes also count. I guarantee you. The distribution of the frames where she is on her knees or on bed versus anything else, there is more on her knees, dude. God damn it, Juhi. I thought you were beyond this. He, he, Mr. Tashik doesn't have to fucking take out Juhi. Juhi already takes herself out. <laughs> yes, I think he can get away with it. What? Thousands of goblins? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good story, yeah. And that would work! It would work if Song Jin Mu wasn't here. Ooh, this gonna be good. With all due respect, Mr. Song, we can stand him, but he just doesn't know yet. Is it okay for us to flex now? We have to flex. I don't mind Mr. Song seeing her powers, right? Juhi and Song witnessing it? Perfectly fine. Dude. Mr. Kim's sword is more useful than Mr. Kim in this anime. Remember how we took the sword and it kind of helped out in the fucking Kasaka dungeon? And then like we fucking threw the sword, right? This sword is becoming more... Mr. Kim's sword is coming in clutch yet again! Okay, let's go! Okay. Greater strength. All right, Mr. Song, show me it. Right, cause it's like a bad match, right? Oh no, no, after image, after image, after image. Oh, just a bit more, man. Is there no magic swordsmanship? Because like the whole thing of Mr. Song is that, you know, he's gifted with swordsmanship, but he got placed as a magician, right? And that's the whole thing about why, like, this is such an unfortunate fit. But I thought that Mr. Song could be like a magic swordsman or some shit. Oh, Juhi Clutch! She's standing! She's standing! Let's go, Juhi! Let's go stand! Or song. 
He has? On the comment of Mr. Sung apparently training S rank hunters, I'm not sure if this is a spoiler, but I don't think it's too bad. You know, back in the dojo, right? I think Mr. Annie New said that there was an S rank hunter in the webtoon. Not the enemy in the webtoon, there was an S rank hunter in the dojo. Apparently, it's a feminine figure. And the only S rank hunter that's a relatable to that is Cha Hae In. So it could be, it could be stated that Mr. Sung was training like Cha Hae In in the art of the blade, right? That's what some people are saying. I don't know if this is true. Yeah, right here. Cha Hae In, probably. Bad matchup. Bad matchup. Wait, the healing mana? I mean, it just happens. It just happens that she always runs out of mana when we need it the most. Your heal is useless. Yeah, I we know. We've been we we we've been known since episode one. I'm so mean to you, he man. <laughs> Sungjin move, come on. Oh, psych. Guys, too fast. Sungjin Wu. Jimu! Yes! Yes! I think it's still fucked up that Jimu stated this long. Look, look how many cuts Mr. Song had. I guess he kind of respects Song and wanted to give him a fair fight, but I would have stepped in a bit earlier, bro. Let's go! E rank. E rank. Dash! It was my dash skill! Yeah, I bet he could do it again. Yeah, he has. The second awakening bullshit again? Nah, 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 nah. Infinite awakening, because we just keep leveling, right? He is a player. Oh, he straight up didn't know. I thought that he was on to him, but Kang, I mean, I mean, do you blame him? Look at the fucking face. Bro grew an extra foot and he got an entirely different face, dude. So Kang Tashik straight up didn't know. And Huang Dong Su, right? The older brother in America, he won't know either because all the fucking records are showing this old version of him, dude. They're never gonna know, man. He's an entirely different person. Kind of, yeah. Good question. Yo, he's dual wielding, bro. Honestly, up to that point, Kakteshik is perfectly just like, you know, valid for killing the convicts. It's perfectly fine. It's just that Kim got in the fucking way and we had to kill them, right? So, like, I feel like Kakteshik could have been a good guy that we could have kind of been okay with, but Mr. Kim fucked it all. No witnesses allowed. Unless he truly enjoys torturing them. Oh. Maybe he actually does like torturing them because there is a lot of cuts. Maybe he straight up just wanted to torture them. Oh. Mask off. Come on, show me your true face. I'll do it for free. I don't even need the money. Okay, he's B rank hunter. Okay. Why am I working for Peanuts in the Hunters Association? For the freedom to do shit like this because the association is allowed to take a combos like this maybe he never gave a fuck about hunting you know, he only cared about hunting humans what a fucking psycho dude <laughs> he doesn't know <laughs> yeah, totally different person Oh, synchronized. Bro, just use Pakistan! No, you can't, that's dirty! Pakistan! Ooh. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Aren't we the ones supposed to have a fucking purple aura, man? God damn, dude, it's okay. If he has, like, better experience than us, what the fuck can we do? Well, and he has two weapons, too. Is that something special that we have right now? Or is it just the main character armor? A little less bloodthirsty. Whoa, 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 new quest, new quest, new quest, new quest. 
Is that a new quest? There are people present who want to kill the player. Oh, it's that fucking thing. Yeah. Okay, it's time to kill him. Because we honestly have no choice or else we're going to fucking die, right? We got to do it. There's that aura. There's that aura, dude. Way better than Taishik's aura. Oh, you sweating now. Oh, you sweating now. <laughs> All right. The fucking debuff, too. What do you got? Oh. Invisible? Stealth skill. That's some bullshit. Wait, but we have perception. Even if he can hide everything, couldn't our perception sniff him out? Ooh, that's an ankle down. No, 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 you never say that. No one who's seen me use it has ever lived to tell the tale. You tripped the most cliche anime death flag. No one has ever beaten this power. Immediately gets beaten. He looks really cool, though. <laughs> Taishik does look really cool. Oh, you done monologuing? <laughs> of course. Anytime something happens, hey, I got some full recovery saved up for my daily quest. Oh, what's a daily quest? Don't worry about it. That's some bullshit. <laughs> yep. That's another of my emotions gone. What? We're going back to how Sanji moves changing because the system makes him do, you know, cold, rootless shit. I don't even need to get angry, bro. This is just calm killing. He doesn't even need to be upset. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mentality, everything has changed. Survival of the fittest? Oh, oh. How's he detecting? That was kind of cool. Did you see this? Look at look at the way he casually just deflects it, dude. See, see, see. No, no, no. He switched the dagger in his hand here. Look, it went that it went below. See, reverse grip. Boom, 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 boom. Nerdish intent. The diva, fifty percent down, right? Yo. Domain expansion, murderous intent. Why is I thought this is just like a random passive, skill, like a, a debuff that's like because like it's like negative fifty percent on everything, right? But this animation went fucking crazy, dude. Look, at the entire environment changes. Look at the eye glowing. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you already no. did. I mean, it is a one sure hit attack, right? He had to open a simple domain. Ah, uh, oh, I wanted a little bit more. Why, why? You, oh, I wanted a little bit more, dude. That shit was so cool. But again, like, this entire sequence events, dude. This is a fucking P. Boom. Reverse fucking grip. See, he flips it. Oh, that flaming eye, too. Nope. Ooh. We are not the same, bro. Damn. Damn. I don't even know which one to use as thumbnail. There's so many good fucking moments. The way that Sung Jin Woo just like looks down on him with these cold eyes. Even the eyes right over here, dude, right? Even the eyes before we did this. This is so sick too. And the way that the entire domain expansion, you know, expanded in the eyes, dude. Did the webtoon do it like this too? Or is this anime only shit? This is fucking peak. I thought Tashi kind of does it just for fun. No, I think the difference in the intent, right? We have to do it because, you know, you're trying to kill us. Sung Jin Mu doesn't randomly kill people for pleasure. No, it's out of necessity. No, we are not the same. Oh, what the fuck is eyes clouding up with blood? I'm a player. So. Honestly, he can't even answer true. What does a player really mean? 
straight up, I'm just starting to realize we never even had to like fight him too hard. We could have just kept running, running away, right? Because he was fucked the moment we got the first slice onto him and his eyes got fucked up, right? From the poison. We never really had to do any of this, huh? Like, of course, the stab here kind of accelerated it. But I wonder if we just didn't do anything. We just fucking fucked around. That like, he would have died no matter what, huh? I don't know. The singing statues, right? The angel one? Oh, it debuffed it? He canceled the debuff before? Okay. Is it? How about I have a story where a shitload of goblins attacked us? And the criminals were there too. And they all ganged up on everybody. And everyone just died. And we happened to be the only survivor. Because what happens in the gates stays in the gates, right? What the fuck are you going to do about it? Can't we just lie? Are we going to be that suspicious? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he is. We have witnesses on our side too, by the way. We got some bad shadows. If you gaze into the abyss, the abyss stares back at you. That's a famous quote. I'm surprised the enemy is putting this in. See, here is what happens, okay? Because, like, they've been, tr they they've been you know, constantly foreshadowing how Sung Jimu's mentality is changing as he continues to do more ruthless killing, right? He's making becoming more cold, more of his emotions going away. And I've been saying, bro, the most common anime trope cliche when someone goes to the dark side, a girl's got to bring you back. Definitely not going to be fucking Ju He Cha he in, dude. She is gonna be the thing that balances us, dude. I am excited to see how much stronger he's gonna get, though. A word. Agility. Ste oh, we got stealth. Runestone. What the fuck is a runestone? We got stealth, though. So we, I guess we can do what Tesh can do now, huh? What? The feelings going away, the human parts. Shuhi on knees again. What's he gonna do? Well, you completely forgot about the boss. I completely forgot that there was a boss to kill, dude. See? We, we straight up forgot that there was a fucking boss here. Oh well, we fucking all screwed it. It's, it's a D, it's a D rank boss. Who gives a fuck, right? Manager Wu's partner was Teshi, so... Oh, we don't even have to, like, lie. We can just say that, you know, Kang Teshi was, you know, killing people for fun. And we do have witnesses, right? Okay. Uh-oh, will Wu realize who he is? How are you recognizing him? He looks so different. Teshi couldn't recognize him, but okay, we're, we're getting sussed on, okay? Totally different person. Do not give me the machine for power level readings. What? Juhi did! She's B class! She did it! I'm just a weak E rank! Mr. Song only has one arm! Juhi is B rank! Okay. Mr. Song, proving that he is truly goaded. Protecting our identity, bro. This guy's too fucking good. I hope he continues living on. <laughs> yeah, B class healer. <laughs> oh, yeah, Juhi definitely helped. Yep, yeah, she did it. Yes, she did. Yeah, but we got a healer, so I guess it makes sense. Guys, you guys are you guys are fucking underestimating the strongest B class healer, Juhi, man. Manager Wu, A rank, the aura. Really, we would lose right now against Manager Wu? I find that hard to believe. But it's like I've never fought Manager Wu. And if Song Jimu is saying it, I have to believe it. Nah, you're a homie, Mr. Song. I love this guy. Stand out citizen. I hope he like comes back in the future episodes. Oh. Right, the the dad. Me? I've been looking down on Juhi's game a little bit too much. She does look real nice. She does. Oh? Oh, you kept it? 
Over. That's the stone we gave her. It's like, here, buy yourself a nice fucking dinner when we were about to die. Remember episode two? What, I want, uh, the, what, what kind of cliffhanger is that? The, what are you about? That's the episode. That's another fucking peak solo leveling episode, man. Damn, dude. Uh, what did you guys like more? Did you guys like the, um, what, what was the episode where Dark Arya played for the first time, remember? The first time he had to kill, you know, Hwang dong Su and, 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 his, and his friends, right? Or like Manager Teshi. I feel like this fight was great. But obviously, I think the people will say killing off the other people because that was like their first time he actually crossed the line, right? So it's not really fair to compare, but this episode was fucking sick. Now, Mr. Kim and this other dude, I honestly don't even know his name still. Whatever. Fucking bye-bye. I don't feel bad for Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim's sword was more useful than Mr. Kim. Let it be known, I rate Mr. Kim's sword higher on the character tier list than Mr. Kim himself. Uh, Kang Teshik was a pretty interesting, you know, uh, fight because he was like an assassin's build too. He has stealth and like, but his bloodlust kind of gave it away and Sung Jimu could obviously detect that. The domain expansion like skill animation of this was so fucking good. Dude, I straight up thought that murderous intent would be just like a random passive that you could just activate. Like a toggle on and off in a game, but like, they didn't have to go this fucking hard with the animation. I'm so appreciative that they did. I'm really underestimating some of these simple basic skills that we have. Even dash or sprint was so fucking cool, right? So goddamn, this is another fucking dub episode. Where are we gonna go on from now on? I think that while this was really cool to kind of meet back with the double, you know, dungeon, you know, survivors and make them feel bad like Mr. Kim and get a little bit of, you know, redemption back for some other characters, we are still wary of the brother of Hwang Dong Suk, right? Hwang Dong Su, the A rank, the S rank hunter that's been poached to the United States, he should be showing up here now. Is he ever gonna fucking find us? I don't fucking know because he looks so Sang Ji Moo looks totally different. But hey, that should be the next episode. And honestly, if this is episode, what is this? If this is episode nine, aren't people saying like episode ten or something is gonna be insane? Or maybe this was the insane episode that everyone was kind of saying, and you know it got stretched until there. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.